Here we go. And let's find where did the oh I lost the agenda thing. Hello? Google. There we go. Alrighty, good morning. Welcome to another release team meeting. This is week 13 Monday meeting. Uh, as usual, this meeting is a part of the Kubernetes project, which means it falls underneath the Kubernetes code of conduct, which boils down to um, be nice to each other. Um, and if you're mean to each other on this meeting, it's being recorded. So everybody's gonna see it on YouTube and that's gonna be super embarrassing. So uh, let's don't. Onwards, uh, I don't think we have any open discussion topics here. Anybody have anything they want to bring up before we get into the team updates? Nope. Sweet. Okay, team updates it is. Uh, First, we will go into enhancements with Ryler, which not filled out yet. So they might not be here. They might be doing their async. Anybody from enhancements here? Okay. Up next, uh, CI signal. Anybody from CI signal? Hello, everyone. Uh, our current status is green. Everything looks good on master blocking as well as on informing. One test on one to six uh, release informing, uh, which failed 27 tests in the last run. So we are waiting for the next run. And after absorbing the next run, we will take an action. And yeah, we have release cut tomorrow for which we already open a thread. Yeah. Thank you so much. Any questions for CI signal? Okay. Um no questions, but I mean, it's it's on informing. So, I mean, we want to get this resolved, but I don't, I haven't seen like a new commit to, so if it's failing, uh, it looks like a weird flake. So um, yeah, if it fails again, we need to investigate, I guess. But yeah, I, should, I wouldn't be too worried at this point, I guess, um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, up next, bug triage. Yeah, we are green. Um, nothing, nothing really to share on our end. Um, continues to be totally fine. Sick, smooth sailing so far. Any questions for bug triage? Beautiful. Uh, is anyone here from Docs? Nope. No, I was just looking back to their last. It looks like they've left, looks like they've missed the last couple of meetings here. And the last, their last update was yellow. So, uh, okay, potentially, potentially we should reach out. Okay. Yep. We yeah. will. Yep. We should reach out then. Okay. Um, I, I was yeah. I was checking today um, all the docs uh, issues for this milestone, and most of them are followed up. We have a couple of um, issues open um, or pull requests open to document things but i think this is normal at this point um all of them seem to be quite close so yeah i guess yellow is fine so yeah. okay okay thank you uh up next release notes hi everyone um, our current status is green the website pr was already merged and I am addressing comments for the draft pull request for RC zero tag. And that's all for us. Thank you so much. Any questions for release notes? Cool. And comms. Hello. So um, we're on in status is yellow, uh, essentially because we still have, um, I would say four to five uh, opt-in opt uh, feature blogs um, that we don't have any feedback yet. Um, we have six that are already ready for review and uh, of, of the nine that are not four to five, uh, we have uh, direct indication from the owners that they have the content, but they will up uh, upload it today or tomorrow. 
um, the release article PR was uh, opened. Uh, the only it's uh, and it's ready for review specifically in terms of the major themes. Uh, the only thing that's uh, missing there is the um, the paragraph on the um, release theme, which I'm 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 finishing up today and uh, will share with learners before submitting. Sweet, thank you. Uh, any questions for comms? Great. Uh, Frederico, do you need help from anybody on chasing down those uh, five blogs that don't yeah, have any I mean, feedback? Are they people that we I, know? I well, I don't think so because uh, the, the shadows have actually been actively doing that okay. in GitHub and in Slack. Great. So it's not by lack of um, notification. Um, that being said, I, I I will share the lists of the. Um, of the missing ones today in the SIG release channel, just so if anyone has a more one-to-one -one contact with some of the owners, that, that might, help, might help. Thank you, Kat. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, up next with our unusual guest, uh, release branch management with Jeremy. Uh, who may be muted. You're muted. I pushed the button and then I had a cough and I didn't unpush the button. Sorry. Okay. Um, I just said all kinds of great things and you didn't hear it. Uh, we are on track for cutting the RC1 tomorrow, pending, you know, CI signal looking okay. Um, Xander is going to run that one. So kudos to Xander for pushing the buttons and making sure that things go smoothly. Um, the last one, I uh, wanted to give a shout out to CC, who's not here, um, did a ton of work to get, when we do the RC0, there's a ton of stuff that has to happen. Like, branches get cut and jobs get created and all kinds of stuff. And we found a bunch of things in the handbook that were out of date and CC took care of updating those things and did all almost all the PRs for that. Um, and then also kudos to Marco, who's also not here for uh, kind of coming through and cleaning things up and helping us identify what we needed to update in the handbook. Uh, so next time things should be better. Woohoo. That's what we want, right? We want, we want things to be always better than last time. Uh, any questions for Jeremy? Nope. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on CI signal and um, hopefully tomorrow's Xander is doing the magic. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, Emeritus Advisor, Nabaroon, are you here? Hey. Hey. So uh, expect the shadow survey to be out this week. Um, I urge like every shadow to go ahead and like answer what they feel about the release cycle. Um, we don't yet have a form for the leads, but I'm trying to like noodle on that and um, send out something to the leads as well for knowing like what they felt about the release cycle and how we can make it better. Um, this is just to get like more feedback about or the cycle and also give a space to say things which may not be like uh, suitable for the retro. Um, <clears throat> that's the intent behind the surveys that we send out and to have some data and metrics around the activity around the release. Um, the succession issue or the team assembling issue should also be up uh, this week. Um, I have been talking to uh, like almost all uh, leads about what they feel about who should succeed them in their role. Uh, I hope like everyone would have a decision by probably next week. No worry. Um, and the last topic about retro part two, we were, uh, Leo and I, I were just talking about like, can we have like third party facilitators and not uh, someone amongst us to run the retros? I reached out to Jeremy and Jeremy graciously stepped up. Uh, to host the uh, retro part two. Thanks, Jeremy. And now we are trying to find a note taker who would be taking awesome notes for us. And that's all um, from my side. Um, also, one thing, um, if there is any shadow on the call, please do reach out to your lead uh, if you want to like lead uh, that very role for the next cycle. Um, just let them know that you intend to lead so that they can also factor that into the conversation. And thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, last but not least, our fearless release lead, Leo. Hello. Hello. All. So, yeah, today I was checking all the docs, open uh, website uh, PRs and issues that are still open. There are a few, um, but as I already said uh, at the docs update, most of them are pretty um, finished or very close to getting finalized. So that's great. Uh, also for KK, there are a few ones open, but nothing nothing too concerning. Um, so that's, that's great. Um, I found that we probably missed one enhancement. Um, so the enhancement 1,600 um, 72, which is um, basically done. Also, everything merged before code freeze, but we removed it from Milestone. I don't exactly know why, um, but the docs is already done. Uh, it merged in, so we probably just have to add it to the Milestone. And um, yeah, I don't need to, I don't know um, what happened. Um, maybe we just forgot to follow up on this one. But but it, it was in the it was being tracked for a while and then was removed. Yes, I mean okay. I, I don't know if it, I, do, I will yeah, need do you to have check it? If, if it had a, a placeholder PR because maybe it it had a featured log opted in, but okay. we are not tracking the ones that were removed from milestone. So yeah, I will yeah, check yeah. that today. Yeah, yeah. So I just checked for docs, not for the um, blog post. For docs, it or it already merged, I think. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I need, I will follow up on this one. And right, the last point, the release theme is finished. It was quite quite some time uh, developing or working with a friend of mine who designed the logo. I, I can I can paste it in here. Wait a second. So the th that's wait. Oh, it's too big. We need to scroll down. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. It's electrifying. <laughs> we had a couple of different versions. And um, so it was more or less actually also um, like a collaboration or team effort. So I reached out to the team leads and to the lead shadows to get feedback. And we had two major different versions. And um, yeah, so then the, the theme is electrifying. And uh, my, my first idea was uh, that because we founded the tag environmental sustainability, um, everything is right now about electricity and Kubernetes does not, at least not today, does not have so many um, like components focusing on sustainability. And this could be one of like a major theme maybe in, in the future, um, but discussing with the team leads and lead shadows, we also have like a couple of different ones. So not just like the sustainability aspect, but also we have, for example, now the dashboards. So we electrified maybe some processes and so on. So they're like multiple, I don't know, like versions or ideas around this theme, which I quite kind of liked. And yeah, I hope you like it. It's very cool. It's very Miami Vice. I, I... <laughs> I need a t-shirt to go with my pink blazer and white trousers. Uh, yeah. Because this is this looks very, very nice. I mean, yeah, I, you, I want this on a t-shirt. We we still good yeah, good luck expect, getting the release swag, by the way. Yeah, you can expect the release swag probably at KubeCon. So that's probably the best time to hand out any swags. Mm, yeah. Otherwise okay, you have to well, ship it. See you in Amsterdam. Yeah. See you <laughs> see you in Amsterdam. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything from SIG scalability? Anybody here from SIG scalability at all? No? Cool. Um, is there anything else we would like to discuss on the recording? No? Alrighty. Stop share. Stop the recording.